right through one ear and out the other. That expression is often used when someone is just not paying attention. They're not listening, and sometimes it's used when someone just can't seem to remember a thing. The felines have officially entered the chat. A cat's memory. Once something happens, pretty much anything, how long do they remember it? Are we talking minutes, hours, days, weeks, forever? If you or cat watched this video, how much would they recall once it ended? Hmm. Your cat's memory and how quickly they forget. That's today's topic, and don't you forget that I've got you covered. Stay tuned. The memory span of a cat, and drumroll, pretty please, roughly 15 or 16 hours. That's the short-term memory. This typically involves things of little consequence in terms of the big picture of life, that is, just the basic memory storage, let's call it. So, with respect to what could be defined as trivial information, how quickly cats forget. It's usually long gone in less than 24 hours. However, that's just a very small part of the story. Short-term memory, what's it really all about? For humans, short-term memory is, well, it's hearing someone's name for the very first time and committing it to memory, uh, recalling a phone number that you recently received, remembering some news story that you heard or read just, say, 30 minutes ago. For felines, the short-term stuff is important. This keeps cats from going in circles, quite literally in some cases. Cats use short-term memory the way that we do. It's the in-the-moment memory. This allows cats to go on those curious adventures and still recall what they were trying to achieve in the first place. Short-term memory is what can keep a cat coming back to the same spot some hours after the fact, especially if a certain spot was a new location. For example, if your cat is out hunting in the yard and sees a mouse, your pet could return to that exact same spot later that day, remembering that, hey, that little booger was here earlier. Short-term memory allows your cat to get from A to B. It carries them throughout the day, roughly 16 hours in the think tank, what about long-term memory? Hmm, well, things can get a bit tricky here because there is a difference between an actual honest memory and long-term, let's call them, associations. For example, you personally, you likely remember, I don't know, uh, let's say several highlights from your high school days. You have those mental images, and if you think hard enough, hey, just like that with a snap of a finger, you're 18 years old again, right back in that very moment even if that moment was decades ago. That's a brilliant and vivid memory. For cats, things are a bit different. As an example, I typically default to the cat carrier. For most of us, the cat carrier only comes out when we're about to take our cat to the vet. Well, with respect to your cat's long-term memory, your pet likely can't recall the last vet visit and what exactly happened, the fine details. However, there's likely an association between the cat carrier and going to that place, especially if that place, the vet, created a very negative emotion, fear, and anxiety right there on the forefront. This is an example of a long-term memory. The details really aren't there, but the association, you better believe that certainly is. This is why some cats freak out at the very sight of a cat carrier. The cat recalls enough about the carrier and where it took them to know. That was very much a negative experience. In summary, cats long-term aren't big on particulars. They're big on memory associations, positive or negative feelings, as an owner, because Cats are able to make long-term associations. How you treat your cat on a daily basis will define the relationship. Cats will remember how you make them feel more than any specific details. Your identity and how your pet views you, it's wrapped up in how you've treated them and not so much about specific moments in vivid detail. Before I close things out, I'd like to tell a quick story, if you don't mind. I think I've told this one before. <laughs> but with respect to today's topic of how quickly do cats forget things and the importance of short-term memory, I've got one of the best examples that I think anyone could ever hope to have. I mentioned early on that short-term memory, it mostly helps with the little things, right? The basics. It helps cats and people get from A to B. Well, check this out. Many years ago, probably 15 years ago at the time of this video, one of my cats was outside, just, you know, doing outside things, roaming about, the normal roaming. And then rat-a-tat-tat. He started hitting at the door. Okay, I didn't think too much of it. Then not too long after, several minutes later, he's back. Rat-a-tat-tat. Open the door, I don't see anything, so, well, whatever. Well, he goes around the house, same thing, knocks at the door again. At any rate, he probably ran around the house seven or eight times, tapping at the door. Finally, 
I went outside and gave things a look, and there it was. A possum. Rather large, mean possum. <laughs> Short-term memory, well, this cat, he had the presence of mind to continue alerting me that something was in the yard. He remembered time and time and time again and continued to alert me. Of course, this does beg the question that if he was only concerned about his personal safety, he could have just left. Didn't have to tell me a thing about it. But he wanted me to know and continued on with multiple attempts to get my attention. It was interesting, and to this day, it's one of the more complex things I've ever seen a cat do. One of the most selfless things I've ever seen a cat do. And here, with our topic today, that short-term memory was firing on all cylinders that night as my cat went to great lengths <laughs> to get my attention, remembering that, hey, I'm going to continue to tap on this door until this guy figures it out. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, I'll now turn the floor right on over to you. Is there anything that you'd like to add to this conversation, your thoughts, your personal stories? Comment section, as always, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd certainly love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And just right quick, if you don't mind, the music, the music, oh, the music. As many of you know, I changed music, uh, changed the music that I had used for a very, very long time here on the channel. Music that many of you seem to enjoy, I did that for a few reasons. A few snafus, let's call them, uh, were cropping up, and I just wanted to make sure everything was, let's say, professional. But this new music, yay or nay, I'm personally on the fence about it and have been for a while, if I'm being honest. So what say you? Do you like the music? Want new music? Keep the music? No music at all? Drop me a line in the comments section. Let me know. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.